Hey guys, I hope you can hear me okay. So that's me to read on in the background. <laughs> Simon's playing right next to me. Um, so I just wanted to make a quick video to talk about how you can start up making money on Poshmark without any money. So I'm not sure why there's that, <laughs> whatever that blue glow is in the bottom of the screen. That's really weird. know what that is um I know that Sesame Street is disruptive but it makes him happy <laughs> it's the only show we keep on on a regular basis if we put it on at all <gasps> it's so cute. okay so you can start obviously by selling your stuff that you have in your house that you don't wear anymore which is how I started um, oh hi by the way I am um, Julie the Radiant Reseller, formerly of Julie P. Yogi, and I have been selling on Poshmark for almost two years. In November, it'll be two years. And I um, also sell on Mercari, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, um, but the most of my listings are on Poshmark. It's where I make most of my money. Speaking of that, I made almost, oh, I haven't looked in a couple days. It's over $500 just in the month of September, and we're, what, still like September... 22nd we still have a bunch of September left so my hair is ridiculous I know um this is called go to bed with it wet and wear it in a ponytail all day so I've done nothing to it so it was just like this weird funky wave was anyways um okay so I started off by posting stuff that I had outgrown um I just hadn't been wearing for a while it's just stuff that wasn't working for me anymore and I got addicted because I started making money right away and I mean mind you it took about two weeks for it to start selling but I don't want you to think oh hey I'm gonna go start a business I'm gonna go buy a light kit and go order cute poly mailers and order all kinds of stuff you don't need to do that you literally can sell with your phone a desk lamp outdoor lighting um, get all your packaging free from the post office I still don't buy any kind of poly millers. I mean, yeah, I think they're cute, but um, I saw someone on Instagram post a picture of the free poly millers, or I'm sorry, the, they're not poly, the free like padded millers that you can get from the post office. And then a picture of like cute ones with like pineapples or avocados on them and saying that she thought that those ones, the cute ones would get stolen more, which I kind of agree, but I don't know how you prove that. So um, I just don't buy them because I don't want to invest in that right now. Um, I mean, I maybe will do that at some point. Right now, you can order online from the UPS USPS website, and it is not very user friendly. But you can always call and order them for free, and they're very friendly. That you get a person that speaks English very well right away. There's not a long wait, and you can order all kinds of kits. You can get. It's hard to see it, <laughs> but it says, oh, my son hates this. Oh, thank you. He started crying earlier when I wrapped the package. See, it says priority mail, tape, get it all online, free. You literally don't need anything but a phone to take the pictures of the items and post them on Poshmark. It's amazing. And you know what's funny is somebody posted on the um, app store when I was first researching whether or not I wanted to do this with Poshmark. And she said, oh, um, I make so much money on this and every day I'm worried that they're going to delete the app and I'm going to be stuck without a form to sell my stuff or something stupid like that. And at first I was like, yeah, I could see how that would suck have all this stuff listed and then they just decided the app goes under. Well, I can tell you right now, Poshmark is not going anywhere. It's so successful. There's no way it's going to be deleted anytime soon. Also, there's eBay, there's Mercari, there's Facebook Marketplace. There's plenty of other places to sell, so that's a silly worry. That person must have had like a lot of anxiety. Um, but what else was I going to say? So I, right now, I use about four or five desk lamps plus this ring light, which the ring light, I really don't think, I mean... Okay, wait. Look, it. we'll just show you. No light. Light. It's pretty good light, right? And it has like two settings. Did it change? 
Oh, see, that one's like a blue. I don't know which one is better. Camera one. Oh, that's, maybe that's why I have the, that's weird. That's why I have the glow at the bottom of the screen. I don't know, but it has a little um, remote like cord and you have to plug it in via a USB port. So it's kind of a pain because I usually film videos upstairs in my son's bedroom where I don't have any kind of USB port and I have to plug it in and it's whatever. But these are amazing. This is, it's got two ports on it and it has a bright light on it. And I got this at um, GameStop <laughs> randomly. But it's awesome because you can plug in your phone and your um, ring light. If you have a ring light that runs by a USB port. The brand of the um, ring light, if you're interested, is called UB Size. It's really weird. U-B-E-E-S-I-Z-E. -E -E. And I want to say it was one of the only ring lights that had like a four star, a lot of four star, maybe three and a half star, four star reviews on um, Amazon. And it was one of the cheapest ones. So that's why I got it. Anyways, um, but you don't need that. <laughs> I just, I've been selling for two years and I just now got it a few months ago. So um, all you need is a few desk lamps with some good light. Um, or maybe even a window by a, um, a window by a hanger, like a nail hanging by, um, really good lighting. A lot of people take their pictures outside. I mean, I just don't want to lay my clothes on the ground. Um, I prefer hanging them on the wall as opposed to doing them on the ground just because my back hurts when I'm bending over all the time. Hi, baby. <laughs> He's looking at me. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. He's so sweet. He's the cutest thing ever. Um, but yeah, you literally don't need anything but the clothes. And you can go get your clothes for free. I know that sounds crazy. Outside of your own closet, of course I'm saying. I um, recently have gotten a ton of really good stuff from Facebook Marketplace. So I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but on Saturdays and Sundays after a garage sale, and it's going to end soon because here in the South, it's going to get cold. We do have winters, even though they're not that cold, but the garage sale season will end. Wah, wah, wah. Um, but we uh, still have a couple, probably weeks at least of nice weather and garage sale season. Hi, baby. <laughs> we do. Um, sorry. So he, um, so go on Facebook Marketplace Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, and click on the top in the search bar, free stuff near me. And you will find people that are having garage sales and their leftover stuff that they don't want to drive to Goodwill. And they'll say, free, come pick it up. And I go and I pick it up. And so, yes, sometimes you're going to get shit and sometimes you're going to get broken stuff. And sometimes I had um, one lady that was like 20 minutes away. Hi. <laughs> it's like he thinks I'm talking to him, so he turns around to see me. That was like 20 minutes away, I got all the way there, and they were shitty, shitty stuff. Shitty stuff. Shitty stuff. Um, it was like two pairs of shoes that smell like smoke. Both from, well, one from was from Walmart, the other one was from like Kohl's or something, and they were not in good condition. And the picture was very hard to tell. And the other thing that I wanted was a desk chair. Because this desk chair was my Poshmark chair. And we brought it downstairs because this desk chair broke. He just fell back. Can you get it? <laughs> Balancing halfway up and halfway down. Oh my goodness, did you fall over? There you go, baby. <laughs> I just took my butt in the screen. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so, um, so yeah, sometimes you're gonna get shit, but a couple weeks ago, I went to one that the lady had, like, a whole driveway filled with clothes. She had clothes, clothing rack and everything, and I was super excited, because for me, I got two pairs of tall and curvy, um, Christmas LuLaRoe leggings, brand new. What? And I know those are only, like, 25 or $40, depending on what kind. But I was just excited for me because I'm a yoga teacher and we're allowed to wear whatever yoga pants we want on Friday. So I'm like, oh my God, I, I have three pairs of Christmas Lulu Rose. I'm going to wear them every day in the month of December. <laughs> now I just need some Halloween ones. Um, but I got a ton of stuff brand new with tags. And I got some Converse. I got some Nike. All kinds of stuff. 
you know, if it's free, who cares? Like you're not out any money. And with it being free, you can afford to get free shipping. You can afford to just price it high and then get 30% off. And then people are so excited because they're like, oh my gosh, she's giving me such a good deal. Um, I have a bunch of baby clothes that just sold. I did, then you don't wear them anymore, huh? Because you're a big boy. Big boy who's seven months old. <laughs> he just completely turned all the way around. <laughs> so cute. Don't fall over. Um, that all of the clothes, ooh, most of the clothes, I would say, pretty sure like 90% of the clothing in the bundle was clothing that was given to me for free. So I gave her a huge deal and was like, you know what, I didn't spend anything for this. And I gave her extra stuff too because I have so many baby clothes I need to just get rid of them. So when you get it free, you're not as married to it like, I have to get this amount. I just got some free Doc Martens. There was a church near us doing a free sale. They said yard sale and then said everything is free. And it was crazy. We went in there, all kinds of people. <laughs> it's weird. Like trying to roll over but stuck. Can you get it? Ah, you rolling over on your belly. <laughs> He's almost crawling, y'all. Um, okay, and so this church had all kinds of stuff. I found Doc Martens. I found Doc Martens that I just sold a week later for $50, which I could have got a lot more for, but I was okay with $50 because it was free. I got, um, Oh, Tom's, some Tom's, and then the rest was all just like, you know, clothing. I did a haul video on it, y'all can go back and watch it. I think it says free haul video, my last video actually. Um, but I'm just telling you guys, you don't need to go spend a bunch of money to make a bunch of money in the beginning. I would highly recommend that you, if you're gonna invest in anything, you invest in some sort of inventory type system because I am still struggling with how to get organized with as much stuff as I have. And I wish I would have sorted by um, item, like all these, this whole box is skirts, this whole box is shirts, this whole box is long sleeve, because now when I can't find something, I don't know where to look and it makes it really hard to find things. So learn from me. And that was all I had. I better hurry up and go. I just wanted you guys to know that you can start up making money on Poshmark without having any money at all. And then eventually when you start making money, you can take that money and turn it around and go go to retail arbitrage. You can go to TJ Maxx and get the, hit the clearance racks. You can go to garage sales. You can go to the Goodwill outlet. You can travel like El Ducho does. If you guys don't watch her, you should. E-L-D-U-C-H-O Denali. She travels and takes empty suitcases with her. How amazing is that? I can't wait to do that. I'm not quite there yet. I don't make that much money. I still have to pay my bills first. Okay. I hope you guys learned a little bit. Please subscribe, hit the little bell, and um, questions or comments are appreciated. Also, I am um, Radiant Reseller on Facebook or on um, Instagram. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Bye.